James Carafano joins me now to talk more about the Global Coalition to Battle IS. He's a leading expert in security and foreign policy. Welcome back to the show. It's good to be with you. Are you surprised by what seems to be or looks to be this U.S. momentum in getting these numerous countries to join in this coalition, especially the Arab states? Um, what do you make of it? Well, first of all, we always do coalition warfare. Every foreign war the United States has been involved in since World War I has been a coalition effort. Even Grenada, where we went to the island, we even had partners there. So this is nothing new. Every coalition is different, and, and this coalition, I think, has a particular character. It's not really about military force. The, the, what needs to be done militarily, the United States can do on its own. And really, that's the more important thing. It's the speed of moving to drive ISIS off the ground. That is the most important thing. Other countries can do things. It's nice to show a coalition effort. But what's really important is that they do things that are most useful. Turkey's a good example. If Turkey worked really hard at just stopping the pipeline of foreign fighters going in and out of the theater, that would be an enormous benefit. I don't care if Turkey drops one bomb on anybody. Do you see that happening? How do you see this playing out here in the next uh, few weeks? I think the number one thing the administration has to focus on is speed. It, you know, it's nice to say we have a coalition, but it's irrelevant as long as ISIS holds ground. The longer they root in Iraq, the harder they are to root out. So getting the Iraqi security forces to move as rapidly as they practically can and getting as much U.S. support to do that, that's got to be job one. Then I think where they really need to focus on is they do have to focus on these countries of transits where the pipelines go through. That uh, includes Turkey, Greece, Jordan, uh, Egypt, and, and others. That, those are the, the really crucial, important tasks. What do you make of this, you know, it seems like this highly publicized coalition campaign where uh, the U U.S. Secretary of State is just jumping from country to country and trying to get people on board. Um, do you think the details and the deals that are being made should be done behind closed doors? Because in a way, shouldn't we not publicize what is going to happen to the IS? Is this going to be a rallying cry and get more people to, uh, to join IS? Look, I, actually, I think it's peripheral, and I largely think it's theater. What, what really, the things that really need to happen don't require the Secretary of State to go hopping around from country to country to country. This is such an easy lift for the United States. Look, the Europeans are, are, are apoplectic about an ISIS state. The Arab League is very, very concerned about this. The, the American people, the polling is behind it. The Congress is behind it. The administration uh, is spending a lot of time saying, look, we're pulling an effort together. The effort's already there. What, they, what really matters is the operational and technical leadership of moving as quickly as possible. This kind of theatrics that, that Kerry's doing, that's, I think, more symbolic and, and really not really central to the, to the key operation. What do you think is so different about IS than other groups or opposition that we've seen before. You know, we had this report come right. out that, you know, CIA thinks there's up to 30,000. It just sounds fairly alarming. Yeah, well, there's a couple of things that are really key. First of all, they are very financially solvent. I mean, they have a lot of resources that they stole when they move into the country. They sell oil at the estimated rate of a, a million dollars a day. Now, they've got expenses, too, but the fact is, is they're not highly dependent on other people to fund them. That's key. Um, they've got a lot of foreign support flooding in. They've got a well-established pipeline, so that's important. And they are sitting in the middle of one of the most strategically important places in the Middle East. So those three factors make them a, a uniquely uh, troubling, troubling threat. All right, James Carafano, we, again, appreciate your time and your insight. Thanks for joining us.